Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo, episode 1453, recorded January 29th, 2014. The Peacock of Technology. And now, get ready for Dick. On today's episode, Snow, Gadgets, and Super Dick DiBartolo's coming up next. It's the same dumb show with Dick. And only Chad on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. On nerd pathology. Rose and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Gizwiz. Dick D. Bartolo, how are you doing? I'm super fine, and you, sir? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It's uh, it's been for the uh, for the past um, month I've been trying yes. to just um, I'm I'm in in a month and a week I'm going on a cruise. Oh, wh what? Where are you going? I'm going to the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to I forget the actual ports that we're going to, but it's gonna be like the Yucatan Peninsula and and maybe Belize and and. Uh, like Honduras and things like that. I forget actually which locations wow. we're, we're going to, but um, it's amazing because it's that one day tour, isn't it? It is all of them. Yeah, it's a yeah. speedboat through the Whoa. Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> and so uh, I've. It's kind of helped me because normally when you make a New Year's resolution, it doesn't last longer than a month, but I have an end date for this, which is you know a month and a uh, you know two and two months and a week. And so I've been keeping track of calories and trying to basically trying to have a nice physique when I go on to the cruise. And so for the past three days, I've been doing this pumping up workout, and I've been energized and crazy. So really, that's what's going on. really, yeah. yeah. Let me see. Uh, make a muscle there. Whoa. See, it's not there yet. It's not there no, yet. No, no, it's there. It's I think not. is that, is that uh, no. Hey, it's right. a mosquito bite. Or is that the muscle? No, it's the muscle. Oh Whoa. yeah! Whoa, Whoa! Look at that! Oh my, jeez! Yeah, I know. And I you know. know, when you come back from the cruise, you're gonna be a stuffed piggy. Yeah, I will exactly. be. <laughs> that, exactly. that buffet is gonna well, get me. Now, how big a ship is this? These are big ships. These um, uh, uh, and this is with Princess, and I believe that there are 15 decks, 15 levels, if not more. Wow. Um, wow. All above water? You know, this one is. I've been with uh, Royal Caribbean a few times, and normally uh, we we like to get the cheap, uh, cheap yeah, rooms. Yeah. And so we were normally actually underwater. Most of the crew is even further underwater. Yes, yes. So, so you don't get... You know, super, but it doesn't bother me. It's you know, you know. It's You're not claustrophobic. I I no. once got an inside cabin and I thought I was going to go berserk. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. It's, it's just tiny. Yeah, you, you can't you take tell. the tiniest apartment you've ever thought of and then you cut it in half. Yeah, exactly. But I think the thing that gets you is that there's no porthole, mm -hmm. so there's no sense of night or day. Yeah. And uh, Dennis fact, and I went on the Queen Mary, and they, oh, they were doing ridiculous upgrades. You know, like two hundred dollars, you could have a balcony. Oh yeah. So we we did that, but it was interesting because they have an atrium, and the inside cabins. It, it's a, an eleven deck high atrium. The inside cabins have a, a window that opens onto the atrium. Oh. So that, yeah, no one can look in because you're at least three decks up from the floor. So it at least lets natural light in because the atrium goes all the way up to a glass ceiling on the ship. So I thought, now, if you're going to have an inside cabin, that's a great way to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're yeah. not on the water. You're not on the water. Not, when you pull not into a port, you're not going to have random people staring into your room. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. nice. Yeah, the whole the whole not knowing what time of day it is. The last cruise I went on that screwed me up because you'd be asleep, and the thing that would wake you up was the captain's noon call. And it's <laughs> like, oh, 
Well, I guess it's noon. I didn't. I had no idea. I was just falling asleep in, wow. in my cabin. Sleeping and how many late. days is this? This will be a seven-day cruise. Oh, my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll have to do an extra match game somehow. An extra <laughs> match game. An extra... We'll do two extra match games. Two extra match games. And, and, and the Giz Whiz. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is, uh, this is in March. I forget the exact date. But, okay. uh, but all that said, my legs are killing me right now. Like, it's hard to stand because I, I went through two workouts in two days in a row. And I'm just like, I just kind of want to be a noodle. Are you, are, are you going to the gym with Leo and Lisa? It, I have, you know, it's funny. An app is my favorite way to work out. It's an app called FitStar. Leo actually showed it to me on iPad today. And it's better than a personal trainer. I, I actually, we, I get two, um, uh, two personal trainer like visits ever at the gym I'm at. And I went to him and he worked me a little too hard to the point where like I felt I felt sick uh, the day after, oh. and this app uh, it asks you, was this too difficult, how are you feeling, and <laughs> I felt like I wish the personal trainer would have asked me that. Um, and yeah, the app called FitStar is what I've been using for the past week now. FitStar, S-T-A-R? Yep. Okay. Yep. Is it freebie or? There is a free version where you get two workouts a week. I went ahead and upgrade, right, okay. and, and you're also, they have different tracks. The free version, the guy doesn't care. He just says, <laughs> right. what? Walk around a little. Yeah, that's right, good. Right, right. Okay. He comes in, he's I'll impassive. See you tomorrow. He kind I'll of ignores you, you a bit. Yeah. Right. You tap on yeah. buttons and it ignores the first few taps. Exactly. Just in exactly. case. Yeah, and there's a few different tracks. So there's like a weight loss track, a bodybuilding track, a cardiovascular track, so that sort of stuff. Cardiovascular. I think that's a, I think that's an anatomy track. Anyway, yeah. um, and is so you're stuck music? with one. There is, and that's one oh, of my favorite I'm things. Liking, uh, you know, I've got to look. Is, is it Android too? Because I'm just it's an Android person. It's not Android, and that's uh, you know. Let me triple check because you know what. Otherwise, maybe you could just do it once for yourself, and then once for me. <laughs> I will. Because I only have Android. I will. I'll work out for a friend. That's yeah. It okay. looks like it's only available in the in the uh, Apple App Store. Okay. Um, oh, you know, I can put it on my uh, iPod Touch. Yes. That's what I'll... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and the music is but, nice because I don't have any music on my devices anymore. I stream it all. And wow. so I, it's like, do you want to play some music? Here's your iTunes library, and it's empty. And so I really like that the app has built-in music to kind of get you energized. And their music's better than my music. I'd be listening oh, okay. to weird stuff. Okay, so what do you got to do on the ship? Because you, you know, streaming on the ship is about $500 oh, a minute. Yeah, no, I, I just won't listen to music, you know. Oh. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, it's Google Play Music, all access. So you can pin, uh, basically it just downloads it. It's not available anywhere else on the phone, but through the app, you can listen to playlists and, and things like oh, that. Oh, okay. okay. Right, that actually works out really, I've done that before. Um, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so that's coming up in a few months. But, of course, we have to get to the gadgets. This is the Gizwiz. So what do you got for us first? Uh, well, you, maybe this will work for you on the ship. It's from Zag, and it's Zag Keys Universal Bluetooth Keyboard. Ooh. Now, there are a lot of Bluetooth keyboards out there, but this one is kind of neat because if you uh, cut to my close up camera there, Jamma B, uh, the cover of the keyboard slides off, and so there's the keyboard. Oh, there's a keyboard actually, underneath. Who'd have thought? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, but innovative. what you do, Chad, is the cover has a little flip down thing that then holds your iPad or your wow. tablet or whatever you want. Then it goes in front of the keyboard and you set the angle that you want. And now you have a holder for your device. And the holder for the device is the cover for the keyboard, which I like a lot. It also has another feature that I think is great. Little keyboards never have any way for you to know if you're in cap lock and so this little keyboard has two leds uh one that comes on when it's pairing for the bluetooth and that's blue clever and then uh, it has a green led for ca uh, cap lock which i like um the company is zag says that on a full charge it should run for up to three months 
the price is great. It on Amazon list price is sixty nine ninety nine. I checked last night when I was putting stuff on my website. Oh, it's still there. Uh, under forty four bucks, forty three ninety nine, and Amazon Prime. And as a, a Jam B has a couple pictures up there uh, if you're watching the video version, so you can see how the cover becomes a nice holder for your tablet or your phone either vertical or horizontal and even um, says on this yeah. amazon works with all bluetooth devices so iPads, yes. yeah you know, so Android ios tablets. linux <laughs> android <laughs> as long as it's bluetoothy yeah uh you're set <laughs> symbian everything it'll everything everything, everything. And yeah you know, even if you just had a bluetooth Right. And no tablet. Right. You got Why that you grill that? that you've been working on that you bought, you, you know, just a little you while go. ago. There you go. There you um, go. Very, very uh, good. Four so stars. Guy, yeah. Four yeah, stars very... on Amazon. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, the folks there liked it. Do you tend to use uh, keyboards on You know what? Your I went uh, just overnight to Boston with Dennis for a wedding. And it's the first time I went anywhere without my little laptop. And I thought, let me just see how I can get by with the Samsung Note. And with this keyboard and the Note, it's it's pretty good. The The one thing about about tablets and, and phones is typing on that crappy little pop-up keyboard uh, board and the other thing about when when you when you switch to a Bluetooth keyboard, it frees up on some phones. The keyboard is twenty five to thirty percent of the screen. Yeah. So when you use a Bluetooth keyboard, then the keyboard doesn't pop up because your device knows it's using an, an outboard uh, keyboard. So you get a lot more space to type. So yeah. I like that. Those are really really awesome. Very yeah. very cool. So Zag. Uh, Zag Keys Universal, under $44. Really cool. Really cool. What else do you got for us? Okay, you know, maybe you'll need this for the ship, I'm thinking, too. yeah, I'm thinking that if I go to the ship, they charge for a lot of stuff. They charge for internet. They charge for sodas. What happens if they charge for power? Yeah, well, yeah. What about that? Ugh. What about that? Are you getting the soda? Are you, a, are you an alcohol? Um, I, I do I do consume alcohol. I do enjoy alcohol. Okay, okay. I will probably you know they have different options. They have like you can get a soda card. I don't know yeah, if I, they I have always, an alcohol card. Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> that would be cool. oh, no, they might. You know, <laughs> they might because I think it's called a, a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> on a ship, like everything is free, but soda. Yeah. Strangely enough, it's not free. Yeah. Coffee's free, tea is free, but not soda. Food is free. Uh, they have they have like basically a four star restaurant that you can go to every night, and it's free. You just order steaks, yes. you order lobster, you order escargot, you order whatever the heck you want. And it's free, except yeah. for the drinks. If you're gonna buy that diet coke, you no matter you what the drink is, it comes from the bar. Yeah. On the on the Q on the Queen Mary. Uh, it's cheap. It was twenty one dollars for five days, mm. so and, and you can have you, you know you just carry that card and it's good at all bars and everything for soft drinks. Soft yeah. drinks. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't know if I've done a Gizwiz video of the week with you yet, hmm. uh, but this is this week's Gizwiz video of the week. Whoa. Mickey Bartolo, Mads, Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz with another one take theater here on Twitter. You know what? My cell phone is running low on power. I have a million charges. I don't have a charger with me, but there is something amazing. You can use a stove to charge your phone. Luckily I have my book, The Joy of Charging, and I'm gonna look up here, Samsung S4, Place in 450 degree oven for 30 minutes for a full charge. So let's do that, okay? <laughs> we're gonna light the oven. No, okay, so we're not gonna do that. But we are gonna use this stove to charge this phone. What? Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and we're gonna do it with this pot. All right, okay, this is no ordinary pot. This is Power Pot, the thermoelectric generator 
charges your devices with heat. Okay, so putting this back up. So what you do is um, just use an ordinary tap water. Okay, and before we put it on the flame, this is very clever. You don't want to take your phone and plug your phone right in here because it would be over the heat. So what you get with your power pot is three feet of fire resistant cable. Oh. So Pretty that neat. You can get yeah. your phone or whatever you device right you're going fire. to charge <laughs> fire resistant, away from fire the flame. Fire. And this ends in a standard USB uh, cable. So we're going to plug this. We're going to put this over here a little bit out of the way so I can talk. And let's see, the rear burner. Okay, so now we have a fire under the pot. Okay, so we have the cold water. We have the stove lit. In theory, this would most likely be over a campfire. And this is the power pot connector. And we're gonna wait for this little guy here to turn green. It should take under 30 seconds or so. And you know what, you probably, can you see that? Dennis, can you see that it actually mm -hmm. turned green? Okay, so it's green now, which means we're ready to charge. In the kit with the power pot is this little guy. And now you can use your that. your own USB cable okay, to whatever device you want to charge. We have oh, this is just an accessory. pin yeah. connector for the older iOS device. We have a USB. So if you have FireWire, just use mini. your FireWire but cable. We need the micro, and now we have my phone. Look at how bright that got now. See, so this guy is ready to charge. We're going to plug it in the phone and see what happens. Okay. And we're nice and far away from the heat. The phone came on, and it's a little hard to see, but the little... Whoa, you got a lot of notifications. The there, the little <laughs> yeah, I do. Came on. You know, People see. don't leave me alone. <laughs> so, uh, shut it off. We're going to power off. Power off. Just trying to get to the Possibly. battery. Oh, yeah. That's uh, smart. Picture. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, all right. So there we have the little dots going across to say that it is charging, and it is charging from the power pot. Um, all right. So this just goes on, and I think it, I think it actually takes about an hour to fully charge your phone uh, over a fire. And along with your power pot, you get the little double boiler, so while you're charging, you can be cooking. Okay, there's a little double boiler, and it comes with a carry case, and it comes with this three-way adapter. So there it is, the PowerPot Thermoelectric Generator. Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz with another One Take Theater here on Twit. Nox. How you doing, phone? I'm almost there, Dicker. I'm almost there. Oh, wow. It even talks. It's a Siri feature. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. Uh, Knox Arrington says that's definitely FireWire. Definitely a FireWire connect. Anyway, no. Anyway. Uh, oh, no, that's good. That's good. That's <laughs> Why good. didn't they have a FireWire connect? They had nothing to use. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. there are a few uh, resources for using PowerPot. Um, there's only a few states um, where power pot has actually been decriminalized for non-medical use. I have it uh, pulled up on my on my website. On, on see the places where you can oh, use power oh. pot. Um, you know, there's a few. The green states are good states for you to. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, I never thought about that. Yeah. Purple. Oh, purple. But, uh, you know what? That is one Legal. hard pot to smoke. I yeah. Think. I was wondering, did the room get smoky or or hazy or anything? No, no. That's good. No. That's good. Nice, yeah. clean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was no strange odor and no <laughs> policeman showed up at my door. <laughs> How much was the power pot? I you know, it's expensive. It's $149. Got it. How heavy uh, is it? You know, it's it's pretty lightweight. Um, and they said you can charge pretty much any USB device. Just plug it in the end of that three-foot cable. And I didn't find it like on Amazon or anything. So for now, I guess they're going to get their 149 until it gets in wider distribution. And maybe there'll be some uh, sort of discounting uh, on it. Yeah. 
But, to be uh, honest, it, like I did some some backpacking back in the day. Oh, and for for something like this where you could charge your GPS or you know now I, I assume that everyone who goes backpacking probably just carries their phone and has the GPS on the whole time and and can track where they are that way. This is a great device and yeah. especially if it's light for something like backpacking, I could totally see a hundred and fifty dollar yeah. purchase for something. No, like that. Uh, I, I was talking to someone about it and they said, you know what? You did it on your stove, and I said you really wouldn't do it on the stove. But the guy said, "But if the power goes out and you have a gas stove, yeah. you can charge your devices uh, over the flame of a stove." Yeah. So yeah. So they're at thepowerpot.com if you want to get more info. Very, very, very cool. Um, and and I think it has, the technology. I don't know if it is to do with in. Dark dance or you know what it, it's called really cool. it, it's thermoelectric and the only other thermoelectric thing I know about is years ago Sharper Image made this little thermoelectric refrigerator I don't know if you even remember it and they it, it was re actually mislabeled as a refrigerator it was more a cooler and it was big enough to cool six cans of soda and it used thermoelectricity but if you reverse the plug, it would heat. <laughs> so you would use it to cool beverages or so funny. If, if you were carrying sandwiches or hot sandwiches to work, you could plug it in your cigarette lighter and reverse it. Uh, later on, they, they just put a, a, a cool warm switch on, on, the, on the device itself. And so it, it has something to do with extracting power or generating power from the difference in temperatures. Mm -hmm. that, so right. that's why the cold water with the heat makes electricity quick. Right. Right. But I don't know more than that. Evan Dunn is reminding me that uh, Padre SJ on Before You Buy showed off a thermoelectric stove that, w that had the same sort of generator on the back, and it even had a little fan so that once it got enough energy, it would push air back into the flame to cause more heat. Oh, interesting. It was really neat. It was really neat. Interesting. I forgot about oh, that's that. great. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so it generated some of the power it generated ran the fan. Right. Right. Ran yeah. a fan that would keep the yeah. heat going. Um, and then you just throw things on top and it had a little uh, connection to add a stove on top of that. Um, but yeah, and he showed wow. that off before you yeah, I think that that's called a house. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, and your next okay. gadget, I am so excited about. Oh well, first of all, we we, we you did a, a stand-in for one week when Leo was traveling somewhere, and it turned out we both like Anchor products. We, I uh, love Anchor products. Yeah, Anchor spelled A-N-K-E-R. So Anchor that they have charges, you know, like from from one milliamp. All the way up to uh, the biggest one I know of is is one of the ones we're going to talk about here is twenty thousand milliamps. So they have a line called the Astro Pro, and that's fifteen thousand milliamps. And then there's the Astro Pro Two, which is twenty thousand milliamps. And then I'm looking online, and I'm seeing. Astro Pro 2, but it doesn't look like the one that they sent me. And now I realize if you're looking online, you must look for Astro Pro or Astro Pro 2 second generation. Mm. And what they've changed is the original units have the four little LEDs that when you push the button, it'll show you it's funny. that. I wasn't even lying when I said that I love Anchor products. This is my Astro Pro oh, that my I word. carry around with me in my backpack everywhere I go. And here's the little LEDs over on the side. They're a little bit hard to tell, uh, but there you go. And it's so I'm yeah. almost all the way full. I'm missing one little dot. Um, okay. I can also now, show John, you. cut to my close-up camera, and we'll compare the piece of yeah. crap that Chad has. Right with the more professional version is now mine has 98% power left. Well, I have four out of five dots. 
Oh, and so how much is that exactly, Chad, in percentage? I don't know. Is yours 86 or 98? I can't tell. Oh, okay. Uh, so anyway, the new one, and then it also, you can switch between 5 volts and 12 volts, depending on what you're charging. And that will also, also show up uh, in the little LED window. And the great thing about Anka products is they are really reasonable. On Amazon... The 15,000 milliamp version is $69.99. And for 10 bucks more, you get the 20,000 milliamp uh, version. They're small. They're like, uh, oh, well, you you know, what would you say? Like the size of a thin paperback book. Right? Yeah, I was going to say, small book. It, it's yeah. enough to, to snugly, I would say, fit in your back pocket. Uh, and so what I do at conventions is I throw this thing in my back pocket and then I have an umbilical cord out my butt and to my pocket that has my phone. And it charges my phone when I'm at conventions. It also comes kind of with a little bag. I don't know if the uh, second gen does, but my first gen comes with a little bag full of different connectors. Yeah, no, the, the, that the second gen does not come with all those oh, connectors. Oh, okay. The first gen yeah. does. Yeah, it comes with the single cable there, but so what are all the little connections for? So, um, you know, things like the 30-pin connector for your iPad, uh, they have the, the normal, there's even more that I think are still in my backpack um, for all the USBs, micro, mini, and then these are large enough to basically, I, I think that some of these will fit in, you know, they're all like these weird proprietary connectors. Oh, yeah. But uh, there's some that will go on to uh, like laptops and, and things like that. Oh, here we go. Uh, Liz, Liz was kind enough to bring me my backpack. Um, and so here's even more over here. Uh, you have so, some with for like the tiny little phones that, you know, you know, Blackberry would make or something like that. Here's the, oh, okay. the micro uh, or the mini um, uh, USB. And then they all sort of plug in to the back of either the um, there's there's two options you can either here I was like where did the thing go and it's because of my back pocket <laughs> um, you have so a little you, let's say let's say you have three USBs on the end you can't no I don't but you okay you, no I think that I guess they changed it somewhat mine yeah. has three USBs and then oh, I guess twelve on, yes you're right okay so sorry I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah you, right. you have three okay. USB like ports on the top, right? Yes, exactly. Right, exactly. And one of them is probably input. Yes. Well, uh, uh, I, I have three. Let me see if I can get this up to the. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then I have, I have uh, input, and then I guess I have, I have twelve volts out also. Oh, are all those out? Oh, that's so. Oh man, I need to buy this. So I'm probably gonna buy the second gen, because I've used the first gen so much. It looks like those are all outputs. And the other yes, two ports... Are. Are One of them, uh, let me just see if I can see. I don't have the book with me. Oh, here we go. Uh, one is DC in and one is DC out. Right, right. So okay. that's what my... Mine only has one USB out. <laughs> um, and so that one, you could charge like three devices at once, right? That would be... Yes, And many can. times, I'm at the convention and someone's like, can I borrow your battery because my phone is about ready to die? So this yeah. has not only the, the DC out like yours, and you plug in the, um, the, the larger cable that, that comes with the battery, and then you can pull off one of the connectors uh, off of the thing and then plug it onto the, bat, onto the end. So it could be whatever the heck you want it to be. Got um, it. Or you could do a USB out if you just have, like say, like a normal um, you know, U USB charger that you carry around all the time anyway. I am so excited about the the Anchor Second Gen Astro Pro. Yeah, it is really neat, and 20, I don't know. Twenty thousand milliamps <laughs> is enough to charge an iPhone like seven times. I, I I'm yes, trying to do yes, the and, math and tablets yeah. uh, once or twice. Yeah, they said six to seven for iPhones. But, you know, now with the three outputs, you're going to have to have several cables uh, <laughs> coming out of your butt. So as I you will. walk around, I'll lots look, of people can charge. I look yeah. like a, a peacock of technology. It'll be... <laughs> the peak, that's it. The peacock of technology. <laughs> that is a business card slogan if they I ever put it on the one. website, basically. Yeah. Absolutely. I think so. I think so. Well, very cool. So that's Anchor uh, Pro, second generation uh, you can either get it for uh, $65 or no, $60-ish or, or uh, sorry, 
No, Seven, 59. 50, yeah, you, you say. What's the price? Okay. The, uh, the Astro Pro second generation, 69.99. That's 15,000 milliamps. Or the Astro Pro 2 second generation, 20,000 milliamps. And that's 79.99. Total. Uh, when you find yourself in the dire, like, middle of of some big, I mean, we use it at CES, I use it at Dragon Con, I use it all the time, where you are sm slamming your phone, especially when traveling, and you're in a car that doesn't have the correct charging ports you can throw on an extra battery. So, highly recommend it. Yeah, yeah, this, this carries a lot of power. And it looks like the, maybe the way to recognize them on site is yours looks like it's silver. It is. Mine's silver, and that yours is showing up is, on screen as black. As black, yeah. Right. So maybe they changed the color to make it easier to... Right. But don't forget, when you web search, you'll find lots of... And, and on some websites, the prices are the same for Generation 1 and Generation 2. So you want to uh, go toward the Generation 2 for the three outputs and the digital readout. Very, very cool. Well, now we actually don't have any ads, so this episode is sponsored, oh, we don't. Okay. sponsored okay. by my red hair. If you'd like to get it, you can... <laughs> uh, well, now let me... Directly. I'll introduce you. Okay, okay. okay. One storing the Gizwiz... And surveys have showed that's plenty. It's time to call on the peacock of technology <laughs> with his pick of the week. Thanks, Dick. So uh, today, I actually have a video for you. We went ahead and pre-recorded it. I actually forgot to tell John that it might be in the TriCaster. He's good. So, uh, oh, that's good. Okay. you know, I'm just going to go ahead and let the video speak for itself. So go ahead and roll it. Hey, Dick. So this week, my crap is uh, three different products. Uh, they're the same type of product, but each of them has a different style to them. And to help me out, I have three people from Twit's very own audience. How are you all doing? Well. Great. Well, okay, so what's your name? Monica. Monica and? Jack. Jack and? Eric. Eric. So these guys are going to help me test out this product. These are bars of soap from a company called Man Hands. Each of these soaps are flavored differently with a different smell. Your mission is to figure out which smell I give you, and I'm purposely holding the label away from you so you don't know. So let's go ahead. I'll, I'll take you first. Okay. Can I smell it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smell it. Absolutely smell it. These Any are not ringers, yet? right? These are real... No, no, yeah, maybe, these are. Uh, this is maybe we recorded sure, this on yeah, Sunday. We'll, we'll release. Maybe the exfoliation of. Okay. I haven't even used it myself. <laughs> you know, I've been really, so we really getting into smells things. recently, right. so I was, I was happy That's to get right. these bars okay. of soap. Uh, maybe forest or something. Forest. Yeah, that's, okay. that's gonna be my. Okay, my okay. Final. We'll get forest now. Okay. The the uh, the soap that you chose was actually dill pickle. Not it. <laughs> dill pickle hands. Not at all. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we got a negative on dill pickle for that yeah, one. Yeah, I'll okay. take forest <laughs> over dill pickle. Monica, this is your bar of soap. So let's go test it out. The so salty forest. Well, my first thought was beer, but it's too sweet. Sweet, so maybe like a Hefeweizen, if it wasn't beer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's lather up. It's definitely something ingestible. Would you, if, if you were in this the is store, ingestible would you smell. This flavor just for yourself? I might, it smells nice. It's nice. She would buy this at a store. Slightly citrusy, but I don't know. So any guesses? No, because it's too sweet for beer, but that's what just but keeps popping keep into my head. Okay. Yeah. It's actually, oh it is beer. beer. You chose beer. Oh, my beer. word. So you're absolutely correct. <laughs> That's awesome. That, uh, and you know what? We actually had someone else smell it in the studio that got to see what it was, and their their response was the same, that it was a little bit sweet, sweet for beer. Yeah. And so, uh, okay, cool. Thanks, well, thank sorry. you so much. She got it correct. Okay. Nice. We have one bar of soap left. This is a bit strange. <laughs> I'm scared to say what I thought. Because As if pickle and beer <laughs> isn't. <laughs> Normal. Is it like a hammy sort of? It's like a hammy smell. I I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just because it's made out of lard or something. Oh, it's I, I have no smell. idea. But it, <laughs> you got lard smell. <laughs> if I had to guess, uh -huh. I would guess bacon. And the answer is 
bacon. Oh, you are oh, correct. You got good great. Job. Very, very good We got job. great sniffers. Great. Can you know, you want, sometimes you just want some man hands. Guess, you, you, your hands need to be manlier, and they need to consume <laughs> bacon. So big, big thanks to everyone who helped test out our bars of soap. Back to you, Dick. So, so Chad, did... Are these mail order only? Well, what do you, where does right. one find Man Hands? That's the brand, Man Hands? Man Hands. Man Hands Soap.com is where you can get them. And we ordered okay. three. Um, we'd be interested to test out more flavors, uh, more smells, more... What's the, what's the vocabulary word for... S fragrances, aromas? fragrance, oh, the aromas, fragrances. There right, you go. Fragrances. right. We'd be yeah. we'd be willing to test out more right. aromas and and film people doing it, um, and and so I decided to just buy three three bars of soap. So we got beer, bacon, and dill pickle. Now, if you go to manhands uh, dot com and and they come in nice little packages, you get a healthy amount of soap. I would say uh, the question is is are are your, you know. Family members gonna want to wash their hands with bacon after a month of use. Now these must be expensive, they, considering you know, that they're not too bad. At six dollars and ninety or sixty nine cents, six dollars and ninety five cents. I can't. I'm not doing good with prices today. Um, <laughs> uh, and they have tons of of smells. I'm of looking fragrances. here. Dem Democrat. Democrat. As, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cedar log cabin. Cash. Cannabis. But buttered popcorn, fresh cut grass, yeah. <laughs> the a, a lady dance, I uh, will say. Muscle rub. Maybe that's a smell I should get for my muscles for the oh. cruise. Uh, oh, they race have day. Republican? Um, y urinal mint. Oh, my Zombie word. repellent. <laughs> uh, and there's even, I don't even know if that, there's the sidebar list, um, but there's even like another, another list that has obsession type. Uh, pizza, spring break, which I assume smells a lot like sunscreen. Um, new car scent. I mean, there's tons. Oh, new car scent. I'd like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Do I they mean, have we, gift packs. <laughs> they should. You know, I, I wonder. There's a. I wonder if you could buy like a a basket of. Yeah, because you'd probably scents. save money and get a lot of different. Yeah, yeah. So it says it's also not tested on animals. Uh, okay, good. I'm except for, that. for the human animals, tested oh, on dudes. Who cares? Tested on dudes, we... not animals. Okay. Uh, so, I'm so yeah, and and we can confirm two of the scents were got spot on. First guess. Yeah. So you know that when you get that new car smell bar of soap, it could easily actually smell like new car smell. Yeah. That leather. You know what? People might get them more now. That they know they are bizarre scents. Oh, you know, yeah. like if you if someone I think that for what was the very first scent that you gave that dill lady? pickle, dill pickle. I, I think she was trying to put it in the frame of what one might find in soap. Right. <laughs> I didn't frame this as being like a weird smell. No, no, I that just was said good. these are. I, I mean, that makes it even more effective that the guy was trying to like. Um, Forest? I don't know. <laughs> See if this person can uh, can get this uh, parking job done. Doing good. You got plenty of room. Anyway, um, so yeah, so so six dollars ninety five cents. I I kind of want someone to like put this out during a family reunion, and just not tell anyone that that they have dill pickle hands <laughs> for the rest <laughs> of the reunion. Uh, that to me would be. Quite hilarious, or maybe yeah. muscle rub or campfire. You know, it sounds knows? like a country western song. You got dill pickle hands. <laughs> you got dill pickle hands. Why are you coming around this house with dill pickle hands? Um, so yeah, that's my crap for today. And I also like the added benefit that now we have three things of crap that we can send people. So you oh, nice, might, very nice. You might get beer, dill pickle, or bacon. So send in your videos. Uh, for us to uh, to review on the show. To get some slightly used soap. It is, it's been used. <laughs> the soap has been, yeah. It's soap as seen on TV. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and it's funny, so one of the ways I think they do it is they pour the soap directly into the container. So uh, we actually had to like kind of squeeze it out of the container oh. to open it up. Uh, oh, so it's not, yeah, it's not like soap can get dirty. So you're getting clean soap <laughs> yeah, from right. us, you know, and right. soap.
Um, I guess it's time now for us to wander in. Hopefully we don't step on any, any baby gadgets or weird dogs that are living in Dick's Gadget Warehouse! They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. So what has risen from the dead this week, Dick? And this has risen from the dead from a viewer who submitted his... 12-year-old gadget that he loves, and let's see that viewer's video. Hello. Oh. Hello, Dick. Hello. One of my favorite gadgets of <laughs> yesteryear <laughs> is the mini disc player. This mini disc player is model NetMD Walkman MZ-S1. Catch it. <laughs> This one has G oh, protection. Uh, but the thing that drew me closest to it, uh, or, or most to it, is the fact that it, uh, uh, at the time, said it was water resistant or waterproof. It's really kind of cool. And when you <laughs> open it up, it, it, it has all these water gaskets and, you know, everything inside to keep the water out well, until you get to the headphone and then you plug in the headphone and you have to wonder how's that gonna make a seal I mean there's rubber there but you anyway, it's resistant it's all. Uh, what I liked about this was that it recorded one uh, it was optical line in so that was cool uh, it's got a USB I think this was uh, USB what else yeah. Used one battery. One AA battery. Still works. Still works. Lovely styling. Look at them looks. <laughs> it does come in Toggle color also. Top. So yes. four, play, Another. forward, volume up, volume down, pause. So when you're jogging along, you can hit all the buttons. Uh... <laughs> She's shooting this in a mirror. That word Sony was backwards. That was cool. Uh, held one disc, of course, many discs. Many discs were always fun. I remember there were like some that were multi-track recording. I never got that far into it. Uh. <laughs> you put it in, pop it on, and you rock out. Uh, what I liked so much about this was that it came with software that uh, uh, allowed you to put MP3s on it. So it was a very early MP3 player. And I, I think I had five MP3s. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is Jack Freedom's video. It was great. Uh, and uh, I, I, <clears throat> I did a little research. It looked like it came out in 2002, sold for about $300. And when he referred to, don't tell me you have one there. We have, a, it's not the same one, but it oh, is okay. a mini disc. Oh, the eject. Oh, oh, the eject is the front. Um, yeah, this is a mini disc player. Oh, okay. I remember, I do remember mini discs back in the day. Yeah, me too. But uh, the amazing thing is that it, he was talking about, Jack was talking about the AA battery. According to the press release, it ran, could play music for 54 hours. Whoa. With the one AA battery. Now, they're all over the internet, uh, used for sale for. Uh, like 30 to 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, but and the guy is really great. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if he's doing a performance or that is just uh, Jack Freedom. But it, was, <laughs> it was fun. So that was the oh. Sony Net MD Walkman MZ 
dash S1. So Jack, is Jack going to get a bar of soap? Yeah, Jack can get a bar of soap. He can either get... Jack's going to get a bar of soap. He's going to get a Mad Magazine. Dill pickle or bacon. He's going to get uh, an autographed Alfred E. Newman photo from 30 to 35 years ago. Around that time. And if you want to submit your video, uh, you can submit it. Uh, I bought a piece of crap. I invented this. Uh, the thing we're most short of is my gadget warehouse or my favorite gadget of all time. And you do what uh, Jack Freedom did is shoot a little video. Two minutes is great. No more than three minutes. And just tell us why you uh, like this video, uh, how long you've had it for, and if you remember what the price was uh, at the time it came out. Uh, just send it to us. Well, for, po post it on YouTube and then send the link to Jason at gizwiz at twit.tv. Uh, Gizwiz at twit.tv. And you don't have to do a whole performance like Jack. Just uh, no, he went you above me and up. your gadget. Man, that is crazy. It's it's been so it's been so my neighbor had a had a mini disc and he was like, Oh, this is this is gonna be the next thing. This is gonna you're you know, you're never gonna use CDs. Well it was the next thing for a very short <laughs> it time. Was a thing, yeah, it was the next thing for the for about a month in nineteen ninety five. Exactly. And yeah, it wasn't really heard of again. Um, but very, very cool. Well, I guess it is time now for the letters. Now it is the letter time. There. Someone walked by the window. It kind of, uh, it was embarrassing. But other than oh, that, it embarrassing. is... Embarrassing. It was embarrassing for her because she wasn't dancing. I was going to say. Yeah. Right. I, right. Yeah. So now I will reveal why what you said at the top of the show is so funny about the tether cell. Oh, yeah. Because earlier today, I got a little envelope in the mail with this note. I just watched the Gizwiz for 1-22-2014, and I saw that you, Dick, wanted a Theta cell. I've sent one to you. What? I hope you enjoy it. Keep an eye out for app updates. The app is still a bit bucky, yep. a big buck. A bit buggy. <laughs> if you would like to purchase additional units, get them at uh, tethercell.com or go to eBay for a little bit cheaper. Thanks, Brian. Uh, Brian Stuck, S-T-U-C-K. So, uh, you know, I don't know if Brian is super generous or... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I mean, you know, it well, might be... Work, maybe he, he might work he, for, for Tether Cell. He might work for them. He did. But I had this, no idea. This was really great. Yeah. And I have a really use for, for the first one is, as I said last week, I have a mirrored ball. That that's you can't get to. Yeah. That I can't get to. And, you know, LED lights and everything. But it's run by four uh, AA batteries. Yeah. And so I have to get up on a ladder to turn it on and then get up on a ladder to shut it off. Now with this, replacing one of the four batteries... So uh, you showed it last week. I'll just uh, open the pack up a little. So when you're done, you'll have, uh, that's the cell itself. And inside it is a, is a AAA battery. And that makes it remote controllable. By Making your you. dumb tech smart, Tether Cell. Yes, exactly. And, and you know what? <laughs> Do you remember if it was Android 2 or was it, it only I? It was because it was uh, Android. Too. Yeah, because I'm using my Android phone for it. Oh, okay, good. Yep. What Android phone do you have? I have the Nexus Five in in oh. love with it. Oh, um, great, great. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's uh, Jeff Needles is sending me updates. Uh, apparently. Oh, Jeff Needles. Yes, I he's, know. He sent me the uh, the the thing that um, Padre reviewed. It. Uh, no, that's the power pot. Anyway, Jeff is sending me trying to send me notes, but I'm too dumb to uh, to realize. 
uh, what That's they are. That's okay, because <laughs> all that means is next week he'll be in the studio yes. to help you yes. out. Yes, he will be babysitting me and making sure that, <laughs> yes. that yes. Um, yeah, I get, I get it done. So, wow, okay, good. I'm glad that you got a tether cell. You're going to get two now because I shipped mine Whoa. off to you. Whoa. Um, Whoa. So, so one unlucky person won't get some crap. They'll beca- well, they will get a bar no, of soap. They'll get different crap. Yeah, they'll, different yeah crap. you could get different And I'm getting an that. envelope of meds to you. But in the meantime, if anybody's video was uh, on the air in the past two weeks and you didn't get a med because they ran out of them at the brick house, just email me, gizwizbiz at gmail. Tell me what uh, video it was that we showed. And Oh, there you go, Jason. Turn around quick, quick, Oh, quick. hi. Two, peop- two hi. people want their phones charged. One kid, one kid just ran off. Like, he was like, <laughs> he's like, I, I, I don't want to get busted. Um, we, could, we could ask them to come in, but they, they, they look a little not washed. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's bring them in. We got the soap to do yeah. it. Yeah. You know, we could ask them to smell it and figure out what flavor. Here. Oh, yeah. We could have had total strangers. Here, one second. I got to open up the soap so they don't see which flavors we got. Okay, here we go. Okay, get somebody off the street. Do you guys want to be on camera? Do you guys want to be on camera? Come on in. Come on in. We're going to ask you it's to smell something. Is that cool? Is cool. with man in the street. You're stepping on camera, so all that BS about don't sue us because you're on camera. So we have three different soaps here, um, oh, wow. and we want you to smell each one of them and tell us which flavor, which, which you fragrance. You can touch this? No, you can touch it. You can do whatever. They've already been washed. That's why they look a little, like, cloudy. But that, that's a specific smell. Can you tell me what that smells like? Oh, gosh. I, there's really not even, it, there's like no scent. Is that bad to say? No, like, well, maybe. No, no, you can say no. We've, we've gotten forest. Is this, is this the sirs? Is it, did, you make, did the sir make it or? No, no, we were reviewing it. Oh, Man hands. Oh. It's a product from Man hands. So to figure out if you can figure out that one. This one smells like cheese. Like, cheese. literally smells like cheese. cheese. Okay. 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 And the final one. This one smells like a very good, uh, What's that beer that's made here in Petaluma? Uh, Lagunitas. Lagunitas. This smells like a very rich Lagunitas. That's awesome. Yeah. So you, uh, here's that's here's what your, it how you score. Frozen Lagunitas. Beer. Whoa. You got beer. <laughs> okay. This one was bacon. Oh. And this one was dill pickle. Dinosaur. I didn't even tell you that they were weird smells. So. Okay. Well, that beer's on point. Did not. <laughs> not. Did we got cheesy bacon, did, and did, did, dill pickle didn't even smell like anything. Well, thanks so much for helping out. Of course. Cool. What's your name? And we Jared. loved your Jared. movie. Uh, we love Jurassic Park. We're, We're really proud Jurassic of it. Yeah. You did a great oh, job. TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's the TV. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Well, then, See you around. Thank Thanks, Jared. Bye. Thank you, friends. Yeah, there's the chat room. Okay, Dick, that about wraps it up for this show. Uh, you know what, though? We got we to gotta talk about what the heck is it? Yes, exactly. I, I just had a thought in mind. At MAD, I did the takeoff on Jurassic Park. And uh, it was the first time we used this particular word. It was called Jurass Has At It Park. That's <laughs> that's good. That's good. They, yeah. Those guys. Uh, anyway, that I don't was wanna... good. The man in the street. That's perfect. Yeah. And he he got what he got one out of three. He got one out of three. Something? He got that one out of three. For so. a total stranger. Yeah, nice. it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Actually, the others were total strangers too. When you think about it. Yeah. 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 Well, th- this guy was he didn't even know that what the heck we were doing. No, that's true. That's here. true. So, uh, so if a you want game show, what the heck are we doing? What the heck are we doing? Why are you lit really well with cameras pointing at you and I can see you in that TV in the corner? That doesn't make any sense. Let me wander in. Um, and anyway, so if you want to check play, what the heck is it? Head on over yes. to gizwiz.biz and scroll on down to the what the heck is it panel and click it. And how much longer do we got? Uh, uh, it, it's every two months because Mad is bi monthly. So we have all of February. All of February. We've got plenty of time. Plenty, plenty of, of time. time. Just tell us what you think that purpley thing is. And a hint I always give people is uh, we like crazy answers better. So we, we, I give away 12 autograph Mads for the correct answer. And 24, up to 24 meds for silly, stupid answers 
that we find funny. Awesome. So there you go. Awesome. There you go. And uh, of course, please send in your videos, like we said before, to gizwiz at twit.tv. You can get some of our crap. You can get uh, awesome Alfred E. Newman, uh, you know, things. And so picture. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Send in exactly. Your stuff. And if you want to subscribe to this show, head on over to twit.tv slash gizwiz. There we have all of the options available. We got HD video, SD video in two forms. Even yeah, you have mini discs, we, sir. We, you know, we're, sir, do you have mini discs? We're adding mini disc feature uh, in 1995. Uh, oh, okay, good. I'll, well, I'll, I have mini disc. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. I well, just uh, upgraded from my 8 track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but, to be honest, it's MP3, so you could just throw it right on. But of course, everyone knows that you're not going to go download. You're just going to watch it live. Uh, Absolutely. We are at live.twit.tv. This is the first time I've watched it live. I'm enjoying this. Really? Is it? Do you yeah, think I'm it? A, yeah, I'm enjoying there, there's it. There's like something here. Like it's a little bit it, more happening right now, more energy. Yeah, it's happening. It's now. It's <laughs> with it. It's what it is. <laughs> it's what it is. It's what it is. Uh, it's what it is. The gizwiz. It's what it is. <laughs> it's what it is. It's a peacock of technology. It's a peacock of technology. <laughs> You're at the Gizwiz. So tune in live. Uh, at the moment, we are recording every Wednesday at 4.30 Pacific. That's around 7.30 Eastern. Um, and that I would work in progress on that. So, but tune yes, in. Yes. Tune in uh, about that time uh, for the first foreseeable future. That about does it for this week. We will see you next time. I'll be here. Tolo, giz whiz. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was fancy. Was that you? What was that? Yeah, I was just singing that with my choir. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you guys can go home more, now. More people Thanks. on the street. That was very well done. <laughs> that was very well done. <laughs>